this is a Seki disc, and the reason we use this is to give us an indication on how clear the water is, and that can tell us um, it can tell us how much primary production there is in the water. The, the measurement that it would take would be how far light is penetrating into the water. So this will tell us by lowering it down until it disappears and pulling it back up to the, and marking the rope. It can tell us how far light is penetrating into the water, and that gives us an indication of what's in the water. So basically, what we do. Michal, feel free to add any information you have of it. Yeah. You lower the Seki down into the water and you deploy it as deep as you can until you don't see it. Each meter is marked on the rope, and then each five meters has a black mark. So we know what the depth the second disc is. We lower it as low as, as low as it is still visible. So we're down to 13 meters now. We will slowly move it up until the point that we can first see it. And that will be our second depth. See it there now. You see that we 12, 12 no. meters. So it's 12. 12 meters and we go deeper we can't see anymore. That, that would tell us, um, it gives us a sort of a, a rough measurement of the amount of primary production in the water. And we would even sometimes use this before we go out on the trip if we were looking for basking sharks. If we can see, if, if there's very, very clear water and we can see the Seki disc down, you know, like earlier on today we've seen 24 meters, like, well, there'd be very little chance of us finding things like filter feeders like basking sharks because there would be very little primary production in the water, very little plankton. So it is early in the year anyway, so we'd expect to have fairly deep, um, deep depths with this. Like.